former SK Modified winner here at Stafford Motor Speedway brings up position number seven, Scott Foster Jr. in the number 44 cart. Starting eighth is a driver who has two wins during the regular season in cart number 26, Mike Perry. Longtime cart racer Michael Anderson brings up position nine in the number 38 black and green cart. Not only is he a driver, he is also a restaurant owner of the Hidden Still at Illington. He is in cart number 22, Max Collins. Position number 11, I'm going to predict this guy is going to make the biggest move of the race already. Position number 11, the 09 cart of Ron Midford Jr. Two-time champion. Then it will be cart number 41, Dick Hayden in cart number 41. Position 13 is Justin Doobie in the number 14 cart. Then it is 66, starting 14. Alex Palosanto. Coming up next is the number 11, which is Chris Randolph in the number 15 position. And then in card number 40, it will be Doa Pichelli. We already heard the last name here. This is the brother, Jason Doobie, in the number 14X, bringing up the rear of the field. And we are still under yellow here, getting some hot laps. You're going to see these cards pull some fast speeds here. You're going to see bump drafting. You're going to see a lot of fun coming up here. So 25 laps, and it's always an adventure, Sean, when they come out of the corner, especially two and three wide. I mean, the lead can change maybe four or five times in a single lap. Well, you've seen it happen before. Yeah, every week here, these guys are bunched up for the lead, usually in a freight train, maybe for a couple laps, and then once we get down to a couple few laps to go, these guys are going to be hard charging for that $500. As you see in the infield, it's a good time to point out that Wade Gagner, uh, the Gagner family runs this Monday night program. Uh, some of you longtime fans here uh, might recognize the Gagner name as he puts on an, a great show, puts on a, a very family fun event here every Monday night, and uh, anybody who is a part of the Monday night series, it, it, they really feel like they're part of, of, a, of a small family here. It's a great, great series. And I believe he used to race here. He did. Late model guy. Late model, like your dad. Very successful. Many wins here. So we are ready to turn him loose. The front row populated by Glenn Meisenhelder in the four. And Brandon Rusick in the 62. They turn up the volume. Who will get the giveaway? Get away? It is Meisenhelder. But keeping him honest is the 62 of Rusick. As you can see, Brandon Tizzy trying to push Rusek to the front. He follows them. They're from the outside groove, and now they're at the inside groove. Look at them push their way towards the front as we have a wreck coming off a of turn four. Big accident into the turn four wall. At least three carts are splattered into the Hoosier Hotel as the Bush North Series, but he has really found a home in carts. And the thing that makes him unusual, when he is ready to race, he has to take the whole day off from work like it takes him the day of the race eight to ten hours to prepare that cart for high-speed activity. We are ready to resume. Meisenhelder again with a good start, jumps out front. We've got Mike Perry pushing on the outside, pushing Rusek, trying to get a run on the outside. As you see, also a push up there from the 09 of Midford. That's a guy to keep your eye on. Tizzy in second, and now making a move on the outside. As he is keeping his second place position, so they roller coaster their way into the third quarter, and it is Meisenhelder out in front, but he is getting plenty of love from Tizzy. Single file now, these guys are in a draft. You're going to start seeing these guys push each other, push the front bumper. They might be being a little patient, they might not go for the pass because, as you see, Tizzy is pushing Meisenhelder right now. He's going to jump out for the lead. Is there three wide for the lead already? Ruzek made it a three wide situation, and taking advantage of that was Mike Perry as he tried to move in. As new leader, it is Tizzy, and he got jackhammered from behind by Meisenhelder as they stop their way into turn one. As these carts reach his speed up to 70 miles an hour, Meisenhelder takes the lead again. This is all fast-paced action. Look at the top six carts, all tight, close, and then he got a, a bit of a gap to Scott Foster, who was in that second pack. Perry was able to maneuver his way into second, so he has a fast cart. Tim Sullivan has moved up into the upper tier of the field. He is currently running fifth, so the top six, Meisenhelder, followed by, and now we have a change for the second spot. 
It is Perry in second. Tizzy in third. Then we have Ruzik in fourth. Sullivan in fifth. And you called it. Look who is in six, Rod Midford. Midford is a crew member for his uncle, who is Tom Bowles. You hear that name every Friday night here at Stafford Speedway in the SK Modified Division. He transfers some of that knowledge here into the go-karts. As Mike Perry now going for a battle for the lead. He Pretty takes wide the lead behind here. him. Tim so Perry is surrounded by the enemy. Tim Sullivan, another huge name here on Monday nights. He takes over third position. Tizzy is now taking over third position from Sullivan. And Meisenhelder is dropped back to fifth. And he doesn't stay there very long as he tries to explode underneath the 15 of Sullivan. The leader is Mike Perry, who has had a lot of success on Monday nights. But he is being surrounded by the 62 of Ruzik. I think the biggest surprise right now is Tim Sullivan back in the sixth position. You usually see him battling in the top two positions. He's got some work to do if he wants to catch up and make a move for the lead. He's got going past Midford right now, but back up front, Ruzek takes the lead. Tizzy trying to follow through for second. Top three could fit in a pothole. Out in front is Ruzek as he reclaims the lead, but he is gonna have to deal with Mike Perry because here comes Perry as he stomps his way to the outside and in fourth is Sullivan and we have seen Tim Sullivan go from sixth to first in about two laps so it's too early for Panic to set in for Sullivan Panic might be setting in for Rusick however Sean because Perry made a bold move to try to capture the lead. It looks like those top three guys are actually doing some bump drafting right now. They might be staying in line right now because, well, I was well, wrong Perry, because Perry. Mike Perry is going for the lead and Tizzy is following through in second. So the napalm is by Perry, but he might not be able to keep it because a guy with pretty good position right now is Ruzik. He settles into second. Weisenhelder has come back to life. Remember, he loitered back into fifth place, and now he is fighting for third, and he gets it. As these guys all battle, we've got a six-cart battle for the lead. Meanwhile, we've got Nick Haddon running in seventh position, and Mike Anderson running in eighth. As these guys battle up front, you're going to see these guys close in. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to have an eight-car battle for first position. Rusek trying to get the lead away, as here he is inside position, and he comes up empty. A good job by Perry to hold him off. Four type modified driver is Mike Perry out in the lead. These guys have a lot of experience. These are the big dogs here at the mini mile. Once again, trying for the lead and failing to do so is Rusek. He tucks it back into second. But the race really hasn't started for Tim Sullivan yet. He is in fourth, one notch behind Meisenhelder. Brandon Tizzy is six, Midford is seven, then Nick added is in the number eight spot, but in the spotlight, Mike Perry, can he hang on for six and a half more laps? Laps are winding down. Here comes Tizzy once again. He is just hammering all the way up to fifth position again. He's trying to catch up to that lead four. If these guys start battling, you're going to get a bigger field going for the lead, but right now, Ruzek is still working on Mike Perry for the first position. It is a five-lap dash for the dollars with Perry out in front by a molecule over Rusek, who refuses to will. And Meisenhelder, wonder how much Tabasco he has left in that cart. We are about to find out in the final four laps. Meisenhelder trying every single lap off of turn four to go after that second position. He just doesn't have enough to do so. One of these guys, we got a trouble off of turn number two. And we have two cars jammed together. Uh, far different from what we run here Friday nights, but uh, these are high-powered go-karts, and, and there is a lot of safety built into these. Uh, another funny thing that they have is they have a device that holds their wrists close in, because if one of these carts go flipping upside down, if one of their arms was to extend, then they would easily break it. So they have these wrist restraints to keep their hands together or close. As we're about to go green here for $500. And it is Perry who gets out early. So Perry, like smoke, coming out of a dragon's nostrils. Inside move by Meisenhelder. It didn't work. And now he is vulnerable to Rusik on the outside. That is going to help out Mike Perry, who has a little bit of a lead now. As we see Nick Haddon, who is right up there in the top six positions, he's going to lose a lot of ground. And we might not see a, a battle for him back up front. 
Now, Rusek has to gather back up and chase after Perry after he's done dealing with Meisenhelder. We got two laps to go. It is easy street right now for Perry, but can it last for two more laps? Here comes Rusek, looking for a miracle to track down Meisenhelder. Also to track down Mike Perry. Meisenhelder is third. Tizzy is fourth. One more time around. And let's see if Mike Perry can keep it together for two more turns. Rusek trying the best he can to close that gap. Tizzy trying to go for position number three. Nobody has anything for Mike Perry. Here is your future winner, Mike Perry, in the 26 card. As he is able to win, Rusek in second, Meisenhelder in third, Brandon Tizzy in fourth.